Welcome to Narita Airport. And there's like nobody here. That's a guy pushing carts. First time we saw somebody in a while. How you doing everybody? Um, we came here to say goodbye to a friend who's going back to Canada. And uh, he, uh, he's the only person in his, in his, not in the airport. I think there's like three people in the whole flight. But um, yeah, this is the situation here. Hey King Wong. Yeah, we're a little bit early. But we're going to be on for, you know, 15, 20 minutes. And it, it's kind of, I wanted to take you around Narita Airport just to give you a view and, and show you what it's like right now during this time. Since we're here already to say goodbye to a friend and he's left to go through immigrations and everything, why not just spend uh, 10, 15 minutes, take a look through the airport and show you what Narita is like. Um, right away off the bat, you look at the board for the, the flights and they're all canceled. Well, not all of them. There's on that board, there's six flights that are, are on time and leaving and the rest of the board is is canceled and if we pan over to the right side we'll see that it's the same thing here all the flights in the evening are are canceled so it's uh, pretty surreal to see this at the departures here um, yeah Let's go through here around a little bit and we're going to go take a look at the shops as well. But honestly, you don't even need, there's nobody here to check your baggage. It's pretty, um, pretty fast to get through there. I bet you can get to the gate in like five seconds, <laughs> like five minutes. Uh, probably, I meant to say you can go by, by pretty quickly. By the way, for the five postcard club members that signed up uh, after I delivered them, your postcards went in there and they're going to be getting to you from Narita Airport directly. So they're on the way, everybody. Postcards that I sent uh, from Japan took, uh, one of them took eight weeks and one took four weeks to get there. I wouldn't want to go either. It's just so quiet. I think there's upstairs, um, there's an observ observation lounge upstairs. Hold on a second, let me pan around here. So this is where you would check in to check in your baggage and you can see just how quiet it is right now. It's pretty surreal. And a lot of you that have traveled through, a lot of you that have traveled through Narita are like looking at this going, this is crazy. And we feel the same way. Like we, we cannot believe that there's no, there's no people. We're going to take you in here. I, my mask is super sm small. There's just not a lot of people here, which is, which is a good thing. Um, arrivals is a different story though. So departures is from Japan out and arrivals is from arriving in Japan. Both of them have very few people. Uh, there's some shopping and dining up here, can I? But yeah, it's open. Let's take a quick look, see at the map here. Um, here's some of the shops. Most of them are open. Um, we, we walked through here a little bit before. We're going to do that with you now. But a lot of the shops at the airport are okay. Japan's situation is much, much different than the United States. You cannot compare the two countries at this stage. Everybody is going through different stages. These shops right here are closed. I think food shops are open. We're all going through different stages of this pandemic. And Japan is at a different level, a different stage than the United States and Brazil, for example. New Zealand is at the ultimate level. They're done with coronavirus, which is crazy. Really happy for, for my friends in, in New Zealand can go, go out now and, and live their lives normally. So this shot is also open here. It's nobody here. I know, there's nobody here. It's so surreal. They're still selling Kit Kats though. That'll never change. They just have 
Look, like, because there's no travelers, the omiyagi or the gifts are almost n gone. They're just not making stuff to sell in the stores. Hey, Jennifer French. Javias, it's like the Tom Hanks movie when he's at the airport. We just watched it the other day. Krakowja. Yeah. Krakowja. Krakowja. Terminal. In the terminal. I didn't. I didn't see any Tokyo bananas there. I think because the the expiration date's usually about two weeks, and they're just not selling enough to even make it profitable to start factory going. Right now we're in terminal one of the store area, and we wanted to show you a little bit of the airport, um, just maybe even for histor historical purposes. Oh, uh, sushi restaurants open? Yeah, it is. But nobody inside. Yeah, there's somebody inside. The chef. Look at the oh, chef. Yeah, only just a chef. We should go in there, have some sushi. Can you see customers? No customers. It's really eerie. I think we can take you upstairs to the observation deck here. Anonymous Super, welcome to the memberships here. Insider. Thank you. We're thinking of, I'm thinking about doing a live stream tonight where I'm driving around Tokyo when I go to return the car. Uh, yesterday, uh, a couple weeks ago, I had to do that in the morning, so I might take you at night. Wow. It's so it's so refreshing to be out, even though we're the only ones here, out and looking at things like this. This is so associated with travel that we haven't been able to do for such a long time. Japan, yeah, Japan is out of the state of emergency, and the alert for Tokyo is over, so we can travel a little bit more freely. But we do have to take precautions in public areas and. Um, be polite and wear a mask for everybody. This is an amazing amount of food, isn't it? Thank you, Daniel. Welcome. Look at that sushi with uh, soba. Basically, for, for travelers that don't know Japanese food, you can just point and pick what you want. Um, these, all these dishes, you can see it has a number on it. So you can just say the number, 170, please. Mm -mm. Or what's the sushi number? Oh, that one's sold out. It's um, 119, please. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. 15 bucks for sushi tempura before you get on the flight. Whoa. Wow, that's awesome. It's just surreal. Look, look at it. Look at it. Canceled. Look at that yeah. board. It's crazy. I don't know. The other side's, it's all red. It's so quiet. Can I, I, don't, I can't, I usually am screaming at the camera. I can't do that today. Oh, Uniqlo's closed. Uniqlo's closed. No looting here. Hey, Ben. Ben Featherstone writes in here. Live streams for life. Thanks, John. Love these streams. Thank you so much, Ben. From the UK, awesome. Uh, Mujirushi is open. Mujirushi to go. Our friend went, our friend who was traveling, he, he almost needed another bag, another suitcase, and um, Mujirushi would have been the place to go. They have suitcases in there. There's nobody. Can I, you want to do some shopping? You'll be the only one. Yeah. Look, it's summer here in Japan and none of the tourists. This is a Jinbei. Yeah, we're not gonna have any international tourists really enjoying the summer in Japan. It's so sad. In a way, walking through here with you, it's, it's kind of sad. McDonald's is open, but that's it. That's it. Let's see if we can go upstairs, can I? Is there a... Is there a observation? I'm pretty sure there's an observation deck if we go up. Let's do it. Cryo Flames. Wish you, my friend, 
Isaac a happy a a happy early birthday. That's a tongue twister. I can wish him. Hey Isaac. Isaac, happy early birthday. Happy early birthday. You didn't have to say it too. <laughs> That's cute that you did. <laughs> thanks, thanks so much for for that. I appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna go, I'm gonna take you outside to the uh, observation deck. And uh, take a look there. You can see there is a Lawson's. They do have these plastic plastic guards to protect people from getting sick and trying to reduce the uh, amount of contact with people. So it does, it does work in reducing the, the amount of people getting anything. We're here for you, so don't come to the airport. We're just doing a quick look-see before we go back home. I think it should be two to three meters. Why not? Why one to two? Maybe just say best effort then. But this food court is closed. What? No, no, it's got to be on the side. I think if we go to the side here. We're going to the observation deck to go outside and... Hey, everybody. Okay, it's closed. You mean the whole thing is closed? Yeah. I know, Shane, absolutely. It's, I'm shocked. That's it. So the observation deck is closed, guys. We can't even see. That's so surreal. Uh, we're not taking a flight, but we came here to drop off a friend who is, and he's going back to uh, his country, and we wanted to say goodbye. Um, we're we're kind of sad, so it's nice to go live and, and see you guys so we don't have to think about him being just down the road. He's just on the other side. Maybe we'll see him walking by here. There's the arrivals inside of the uh, arrivals area. But it is a, it's a very surreal situation here. There's almost no passengers. I think uh, in terms of staff, we saw it's about five to one staff to passenger ratio. It's usually the other way. I don't have to wear it if there's nobody around. Uh, it's usually the other way where it's, it's five passengers to every staff member or so, but it's like five to one the opposite way. And that's so surreal. It's just really, really, this is my government issued mag mask, Andosan. I'm trying to support the government. It's hard to support the government. That is the Abino mask. This is. Nobody's wearing them, so I thought I should. Nick Anthony, keep making videos. I love them. Thank you, Nick. Look at that. We have some gachapon. Who wants in on gachapon? Anybody want one? Kana, you see some? So that's interesting here to note that the gachapon is on the uh, top level of the airport. Anything that you see here, Kana? I? I found the Star Wars. Star Wars? A Draymon. Draymon gone wild. I think they tried... Sometimes Japan tries too hard. They think they put in stuff that foreign tourists would like. So they, they put in different kinds of things that not Japanese would like, but foreign tourists like, but actually it would see the other way around. We want the stuff that it's so bizarre and cool, like the Friday the 13th um, keychain masks. I guess Jason Voorhees had different kinds of masks. This is a red and a blue mask, different triangles, and that might be uh, Jason Voorhees' final mask. I don't know. That's pretty creepy, actually. What? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I want to get one of these. All right, shall we try this one? Shall we get this? All right, 
we can try here. Sambyak Gran. Should we go for it? What do you think? Cindy Yu. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get there until April. Let's try for November. Thanks so much for being informative and entertaining these past three months. Thank you so much, Cindy Yu, um, from Canada. I, so many of my friends, and by the way, my friend just took an Air Canada flight. Um, people were so nice. He had seven flight, seven attendants helping him with his luggage. Yeah. Seven. They didn't know what to do, the lovely ladies uh, yeah, at the check-in. They are A&A, right? I think they were A&A because Air Canada is part of that. Canada. Yeah, we're gonna get a Japanese traffic signal. Yeah. Shingle, right? <laughs> no fate 18. Hi and John hi and Jonica and I watching from Orlando, Florida. I'm gonna travel to Japan. Um watching from Orlando, Florida. Wanna travel to Japan so much. Well right now you can't, but we're gonna do it for you. Gachapon don't require any electronics. Uh, can I have alcohol? Yeah, oh my I gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ugh, I don't wanna touch it. I tried it in Akihabara and it was weird. People I you guess Okay, I'm sure that somebody did. Oh, there's sticky. Why is it sticky? Ugh. Oh, cool. It's a traffic light. Of course it is. All right, wipe it down with alcohol. 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 Down with alcohol. All right. Okay, wait. Oh, I don't want to catch it here. Yeah, I'm, I might be hamming it up a little bit. I can't hold your camera. Really? No, I can't show. Oh, no. Um, can I just show? Uh, no, no. Okay. I can do it. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I think you can leave these here. Eh? For, to recycle. Ah, okay. All right, I'll throw it away in a second. I'll throw it away in a second. All right. So they have all these different kinds of. Look at this. Different kinds of traffic signals, and we got. Oh, this is so cool. Does it turn on? Oh, can I? This turns on. Oh, it's on. This is cool. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Ah, wait. <laughs> How do I change it? That's off, on. How does it go? To, I guess it. I think this is only for blue. Oh really? Blue light, yes. Oh okay, you got to get both of them. You got uh, yet? All right, you know what? It's still yeah, pretty cool. cool. Yeah, it's kind of kitschy. I like here. it. Yeah. That was three dollars. You can put on your. Is that bag. better than the better than the fish ring I gave you? I gave her a, a, a tin of, of yakitori as a ring. She didn't wasn't like impressed it. by it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, boom! Awesome. Hey, Kelly Trujillo is here. Hey. But I, I think they don't they recycle them. You throw them away, really? I guess she knows best. Kanai knows best. Best $3 spent today. Yeah, absolutely. All right. <laughs> Arliss123. Hi, John Kanai. I love the channel. Keep up the good work. Hey, guys, we have a, a, I have a big announcement coming next week. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I think you're gonna, it's going to be some good news that you're going to love. So... Uh, yeah, next week is a big week for for me and and for this for this series. So I'm very very excited. I guess the best that we can do with showing you the airplanes from here is to show you from this window. <laughs> and there's no airplanes. I can't believe they closed the lounge. What? They're making us suffer. I love airplanes. All you see are the tails, and they're all like Federal Express. FedEx is doing a killer business right now. Here you go, can I? Thank you. You're gonna play with it in the car? This is cool. Um, <laughs> it's interesting, so I, I rented a car to no, take my friend, oh. Away. That would have been bad, I don't wanna walk down this way, okay. 
Um, it, t it took about an hour, a little bit less than an hour to drive here from the city. I was impressed at, at uh, the fact that nobody's coming to Narita. There was no traffic at all. Hey, GN, welcome. It's great. We got, we got a lot of new members and that, that really helps the channel. And uh, I'm going to be cutting my hair probably tomorrow night or the next night, sometime this weekend. Not all of it, but a grid, she's gonna get the clippers out and, and haircut it. Uh, and we're, all of the uh, membership number money for this month, we're gonna be giving to charity uh, because I, I think a lot of people in our community are hurting really badly and they could use some help. Um, so we have a couple that we, we have a couple that we uh, have in mind. So if you do become a member, we're gonna be giving the entire month of June to one of the charities. There's not as many people. Um, it, it, it's going to be a nice donation from our community to to um, one of those charities, and I'll let you know what it is soon. It's hard because every all of the all of them have been closed. All of the uh, charity offices were a lot of them were closed. They're still doing their work though. Um, Second Harvest is a really good one that has been giving, is a food bank and uh, through the pandemic they've been still feeding the homeless and still feeding people who needed to be fed. Um, they really need volunteers, but uh, I think we might be able to do that too. This is the check-in uh, one more time before we leave. Uh, let's walk through the middle of it. We're going to take you there uh, one last time just to see what it's like during, during this pandemic. Here's a, a media release from Etihad, Etihad. Um, and the UAE is closed. Yeah, that's, a, that's tough. It's all regarding the COVID-19 travel. Hey, Vic Vic. And they have numbers here, Alitalia as well. Yeah. If you need Alitalia, no, you, Roma, no, no flights to Italy. It's hard, it, it really is heartbreaking. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of this wing. There's a Tully's coffee straight, but you can see there's not a soul here. And then we're going to we're we're going to take you to the car again uh, before we get in and go back to Tokyo. And and this is sad to see too. That's the Tokyo Olympics uh, animation playing in the background. So all these international tourists that are supposed to be here, are you supposed to be seeing these really cool Tokyo Olympic animations? playing and psyching you up for the summer games. Guess what? It's been delayed to 2021. These are equestrian surfing. They did such a good job with this animation. They're the mascots. I forget the names of the mascots. Do you remember the names, can I? Um, I forgot. Yeah, so that's what you'd be seeing. But right now, we're the only people here in Terminal 1. Trevor, the animation opening, Peter is going to be adding uh, some narration into it, and it's done. Looks pretty good. Hey, that's the song from Kurasushi, I think. Nobody. It's kind of creepy, right? Let's go to the one more over, and then we'll go, to, go out to the car, can I? Yeah, the information de desk is creepy because there's nobody there. Uh, there are alcohol pumps everywhere, so they're not automatic. Oh, it's automatic, can I? Ah! This is the sound of one hand flapping. Safety first. We didn't touch anything, but... 
if you do need help, you just call somebody remotely. It's a smart thing. So the information service is here, you just call them. Thank you, information service. Thank you for the hard work you do. Uh, we're heading home, Chris, and um, we just came here to drop off a friend. And this has been a, a pretty un a surreal experience for both of us to see how empty uh, the terminal is. And it's, it's kind of, how do I feel? I feel kind of sad. I, in, there, a part of me is kind of happy that, that there are no tourists here because <laughs> it's quieter. But that goes away quickly because it's like, what's Christmas without kids, right? It's, you, you need to have some spirit to these attractions and Japan feels, I don't know, it's just a little bit depressing. Doko ni kairu, kairimichu. Where's the deguchi? The deguchi, obeteru. I think this way. I think it was right there, yeah. So we're gonna take you out now uh, from Narita. Yeah, we walked, we walked around here. We walked around here. Kanai is totally lost. So McDonald's is open. Um, Mujirushi is open. Uniqlo is closed. There's a sushi shop that's open. Uh, they're doing their best to cater to the people that are here. And uh, we can go down over here, Kanai. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there you go, everybody. We feel safe and protected. Uh, to the central Tokyo, it's about an hour drive from Narita. We're actually going to be making a stop um, at Costco on the way home. Maybe Kanai's got to get back to, to teach your students by 6 p.m. But I thought it was pretty neat to, to stop and give you a quick look and see. There's arrivals over there. So that's what the arrivals lobby looks like. Uh, right now, we can give you a quick look from here. I, I like the Welcome to Japan signs that they have in the massive TV. Pesa says there's a, there's a maid cafe. That's surreal. That's as crazy as, that's as crazy as this place being empty. There's a maid cafe here. So there, there are chairs and there's people that are crashing here. I don't know where they're from. Are they refugees? I don't know. I'm, I don't want to ask them. <laughs> we don't need to I, ask I, this them. mask doesn't even stay on. It's awful. I've already live streamed at Costco and they've banned me. I think, okay, wait. Maybe the mask should go this way. Is that... I can't do it. Is that better? No, it's the same. I think it was here, right? Can I? Yeah. Yes. All right, so that, that's it for the inside of Narita. I'm taking you out to the parking lot and showing you our sweet ride as we exit uh, Narita and uh, we're gonna go driving back to Tokyo. Look at that, there's no, that's departures. There's nobody departing. She's shocked. I was shocked too. In a, a live stream I did just a couple of hours ago in, in uh, Kichijoji in Enokashira Park. Really nice guy called me abroad in Japan. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I was, just, I was shocked. It's like a slap in the face. I guess I should be, I guess it's a compliment. Depends how you look at it. Is it okay though? Is it really? It's 
I guess so. It's part of Japanese culture, this water wheel with carp. Oh, here we go, parking lot. Uh, I already did so many live streams from Costco, they've, they've kind of banned me from live streaming. You're not supposed to film in there and people come and the managers like know me on site because the videos that I did live streaming there have a quarter million views or something. The problem with the videos that go, that go, uh, and technically you you should ask now Dan uh, Dan so if you're gonna be in somebody else's business or something you should ask for permission to film in there uh, the airport is sort of gray area I think um, it's kind of public but if you go into a store or a supermarket or something it's okay maybe for a second as long as you're trying to uh, cover the customers faces because they don't want to be in your video of course but inside of a Costco, you really should be asking permission before you film in there. And I, I, I did it before that realization hit me. And Costco Japan um, is pretty cool. I, I already have three, I already have three uh, Costco videos from about two years ago. So if you go into Only Japan Go and search Costco, you'll come up with three amazing live streams where I go in there. One of them where we find a massive tray of sushi and Peter and I devour this. Ah, nice. Now, in his defense at Inokashira Park, we were wearing masks and from a distance, all foreigners look alike, from a distance. But I think he was watching the stream, right, Can I? I don't know. It's an innocent mistake. We can call him. I won't take offense that much. <laughs> we're just we're just teasing with you. All right, here's the parking lot, and um, that's a sign that says terminal. But I, I'm still so sad that we could not that we could not take you outside. That is really sad. But I, I will show you our car. Look at that sweet ride. They call this a um, standard plus, and I wanted to make sure we had enough space for his luggage. It was a bigger car. This is kind of a kind of a the biggest car I've ever driven in Japan, actually. It's um, I, it cost about uh, forty fifty dollars more than the regular ones, but it, it's a pretty sweet ride. Why are you coming this way, Kana? You're sitting in the passenger seat. She's like following me. It's not a luxury car. This is normal stuff for uh, Japan. It's a Camry. Isn't a Camry like a normal car? I don't know. A Cami, right. A Camry. It, they don't have Mark X's anymore. They only have Camrys. So, that's that. Ugh. Wow. How you doing? Yeah, so that's it. Um, I, I'm glad that we got a chance to spend some time. Uh, do click the like button. We get so so few likes on the last video. I forgot to ask for them. You do have to ask people. Uh, say, what do you ask for likes? If you don't, then no, people don't like it. Not nobody, but people don't like the videos. And if you don't like it, you won't get the notification that a new one has kind of come up. And I don't want you to miss it. Uh, any of these. But I hope you enjoyed this live stream from a deserted. Uh, Narita Airport Terminal 1 and to my friend who's who's left uh, Have a good trip. Maybe you're watching and you got some Wi-Fi But it it's, was really sad to see you go and it was sad to see the airport the way that it is but uh, we're both we we'll both miss you mm -hmm. and Hope that you come back to Japan really soon or we'll be on the other side come visit you in Canada Yeah, yeah. great guys. Have a good day. Uh, I'll see you later on tonight as I take this beautiful car uh, for a spin around Tokyo before I return her at night. 
So you're gonna get some Tokyo lights probably around uh, 7 p.m. Japan time, 6.30, 7 p.m. Japan time. I know in the US, a lot of you are gonna be asleep. You're gonna have to wake up to it. But for the rest of you, it's gonna be something special. Have a good day. Bye. Good night.